What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Wadcast. In this video, we're going to be doing another update to the Virginia Roberts versus Alan Dershowitz case. Now, I've been following this particular issue for a couple of weeks, and it has to do with Alan Dershowitz trying to get the general release and settlement document from Virginia Roberts' 2009 case against Jeffrey Epstein released to Prince Andrew. Now, why does he want to do this? Because, uh, because Alan Dershowitz and um, Brettler had a strategy that they wanted to use where Alan Dershowitz would get this general release and settlement document released to uh, Andrew Brettler, who is the lawyer representing Prince Andrew. And uh, Prince Andrew's lawyer would somehow try to use this document to say that Virginia Roberts can't sue Prince Andrew because of that settlement from 2009. Now, as I've mentioned many times in my videos, the only people who were relevant in that lawsuit were Jane Doe 102, aka uh, Virginia Roberts, and Jeffrey Epstein. So these are the only relevant parties to this lawsuit. And according to basic jurisprudence and civil law, if you're not a party to a lawsuit, then you have no protection from the outcome of that lawsuit, right? So their argument is is makes no sense, prima facie. On its face, this legal argument makes no sense because Prince Andrew was not a party or a third party or a non-party to this lawsuit, okay? He was not involved in any way in this lawsuit. So trying to use this, this settlement from 2009 to try to say that Prince Andrew can't be sued by Virginia Roberts is just ridiculous. Now, last week, I covered how Virginia Roberts' side said that it was okay with them if this uh, settlement agreement is released to Prince Andrew by Alan Dershowitz. Now, um, last Thursday, as of last Thursday, Jeffrey Epstein's estate also has said that they're okay with this uh, with this document being released to Prince Andrew. Okay, now, the latest development is that the judge has okayed it as well. So, this, this was the letter that was written by Virginia Roberts' lawyers last Thursday, and the same letter was basically just stamped by Judge Preska saying that she's okay with it as well. Okay, so this happened 10-6, that's today when I'm making this video. Now all three parties have agreed to release that document to Prince Andrew, so Alan Dershowitz can go ahead and give that settlement agreement over to Prince Andrew's lawyers. Now, as I mentioned before, Prince Andrew was not in any way, shape, or form a party to that lawsuit from 2009. This lawsuit right here you're looking at, the uh, civil complaint that was filed by Virginia Roberts, which was the first lawsuit that was filed against Jeffrey Epstein back when he was alive for the crimes that were committed by him in Florida. And uh, as we all know, uh, Virginia Roberts won a settlement uh, for that. We don't know what the exact amount was because it was uh, redacted. But the bottom line here is that Prince Andrew is not going to be able to use this lawsuit to protect himself in any way against a 2021 lawsuit by Virginia Roberts because he was in no way related to this case in 2009, so it offers him no protection, okay? All right, so that's the bottom line on this. Um, we'll see what happens with the judge. I can already predict what's going to happen. Um, it's going to take a while for the judge to respond on this because uh, the lawsuit has to officially begin. So it's going to take a couple weeks for the for the judge to get to this particular argument. My prediction is that Judge Kaplan will rule against Prince Andrew's lawyers and this stunt that was pulled by Alan Dershowitz um, because uh, Al Prince Andrew is not protected by this lawsuit. Okay. All right. So that's all I got to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, press all for future videos. If you want to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. There'll be a link in the description box down below and also in the end of the video. You can also support me by joining channel memberships down below by clicking the blue join button. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in my next video. As always, peace.